Good morning and welcome to my hobby bench. Um, I want to make this quick video to show Aaron's engine, his OSFS120 Surpass 2, I believe, the one with a pump on it, because there are several things about the Surpass engines that are interesting and, and can be a little bit challenging to, to uh, repair or disassemble. But first I just wanted to do a quick run through Aaron for you to show you how nice and clean and beautiful this engine turned out. It's all cleaned up quite well. Your exhaust looks about a hundred times better than it did when I got it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. Here's your head. Uh, valves are still out. Everything has been cleaned. Everything on this engine is pretty much done. I could probably drop this thing in the ultrasonic cleaner and get that cleaned up. I didn't do that. Here are your old bearings. Uh, I've got new new items on on order. Here's the crankshaft. I mean in general this engine is in terrific shape but one of the things I want to talk primarily about is piston pin extraction. Or, so I want to talk about piston pin wrist pin or piston pin extraction on the piston of these OS Surface engines. As many of you know or may not know, but you'll know here soon, the only way that you can get the connecting rod off of these Surpass engines is by pulling the sleeve out and then extracting the piston pin or from the piston through this hole. That's the only way because there's just not enough room. There's not enough room here to move that piston, to move the connecting rod off the crankshaft or the connecting rod, especially when it's a connecting rod that's got and a crankshaft that's got this extra stub on here that's attached to the pump. I mean, on the FS20 engine, you can, maybe the 26 surpass you can, but anything above that, you pretty much have to extract this piston pin. And that can be very, very difficult because this thing gets you know, with dried caster or rust or whatever, it just is a very difficult thing to do. So I want to tell you first what I did and how I kind of fretted over doing it, but it wasn't very difficult at all. I had the engine all disassembled, all the bearings that well, these, or I had everything out except the piston and the connecting rod. And I just basically put it upside down like this in my ultrasonic cleaner for a long time at a high heat at like 140 degrees with some of that ZEP 15282 aluminum cleaner that Mike provided for me. So I let that thing sit in there and I oiled it. After I took it out I oiled it and heated it up and all that and still I was having difficulty getting that pin out. But that kind of is the segue into this Harbor Freight 26 piece screwdriver set. It's part number 67 or 96733. This tool set has been a godsend to me for both Sado and OS engines. And let me explain why. This screwdriver set here actually has the perfect size bit to go in those rocker arm pins on Sado engines that fits just perfectly. So you're not going to screw those up. It's got a bit here or a little nut driver here that's perfect for turning or loosening those uh, nuts on OS and maybe other engines carb pinch bolts. So you don't have to try and mess with a wrench. You've got a nice nut driver to do that. And then the other day I just found the perfect tool for extracting this piston pin and it's one of these Torx bits. And the fact is that they're long. So I just happened to have this idea while this was still in there of sticking this Torx bit in here because a lot of times what people do is they try to find some kind of a, a screw or something that they can go in there and get a bite on it. Well what I did was these things, these pins are not threaded which in my opinion OS should have threaded these things to make this life easier. But so this T25 Torx bit it kind of fits in there and all I did was just tap it and really kind of get it stuck in that pin a little bit and then I heated and oiled it up and with the driver end of this thing I put it on here and then I was able to just start turning it. This was stuck in that pin and I just was able to start turning it and all of a sudden it just came out. So I know it's... It just went in there now. 
but and it just pulled right out and it was wonderful and everything was great and I was happy and so that's the way to do it another way that you can extract the piston pin I mean that's another way you can loosen and reliquify and get rid of any of the crud that's on this that I used to do quite often was if the engine is in a runnable state it just needs bearings but it's at least in a runnable state put it on the stand and run it because the act of getting that thing up to operating temperature and all these parts moving will liquefy all of that and then as soon as it's done running you get it up to operating temperature now disassemble the engine because now that piston pin will be freed up and if you can't run it if nothing else put it on the stand without a glow plug in there and just heat it with uh, heat it up really hot and using an electric starter and a prop spin that thing over so that you're at least simulating operating conditions and freeing that up so the thing is the key to getting this thing out is getting this caster or whatever residue is there to be reliquified and fall off now you can use the ultrasonic i had to use the ultrasonic cleaner and heat i didn't have the means to do mechanical motion but luckily I found that Torx T25 bit with the long shank that I was able to just kind of pound in there and pull that out. Now I just read a comment on one of my videos, the video for this engine, where somebody actually cut the connecting rod to change the bearings in the engine. And I'm like, this is unbelievable. You, why would you do that? This is not the first time there was another guy on Crazy Engines that website or that YouTube channel where he was doing an FS61 and he cut the connecting rod. And it's like I've heard so many people going in and damaging their engines in an attempt to repair them. Now that just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. There's always a way to get something, to fix something without damaging it. Because you start cutting connecting rods on some of these engines and you may not find replacements. So you may have just completely screwed your engine and screwed yourself out of an engine because you were just impatient or couldn't think outside the box or whatever and didn't send your engine to somebody who could actually do it for you and so I mean it's just ridiculous when I hear these stories and people admit to actually damaging their engine in order to repair it please don't do that this is the best means I've just explained the best means that I've found to get these piston pins out of these pistons and if you can't do that if you don't have the tools the time or the wherewithal to do that please find somebody who can so that you're not damaging and destroying your engine just in an attempt to repair it so i'm off my soapbox now but that was just kind of disconcerting to me when i heard about that so aaron your engine is all ready to be reassembled as soon as all the parts arrive and then we will get this thing all put back together for you.